<laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm just getting on here because it has been a stressful day and I am on my way to work and I just needed to ramble about it. <laughs> I had appointments to get my taxes done today and I um, couldn't find my wallet with my social security card and all that in it but I had a little smaller wallet, wallet that I carry in my pocket that had my ID. So I'm like, that's fine, that's fine. So I just ripped a check so I could have the routing number off of the next pack of checks in my check box. <sighs> Get in there to the appointment and he's like, nope, have to have your ID and your social security card or last year's taxes. So, me and my husband's social security card was in the wallet that I could not find. So, we had to go back home and hunt through all of my crap trying to find the wallet, which I couldn't. So, at least I was able to grab last year's taxes out of the desk and have something to give them. So, we go back in and at this point, Somebody already had showed up for their appointment, so then we had to wait for that person to get over. And it was just sitting there waiting, getting more and more anxious. So then, we normally are exempt because of low income from paying the medical uh, fine. Because I don't have insurance, can't afford to pay for insurance. Uh, insurance for me and my husband is $400 a month. If we pay insurance, we just won't eat. I wouldn't have to worry about a weight problems if I paid for insurance because we'd just starve to death. So, I don't have insurance, but I've always been exempt from paying the fine because of our income level. Well, this year I worked a little bit too much overtime and it pushed us over that. So, I got a $1,200 fine for me and my husband not having insurance on me and my husband. Which I normally take the money from my income tax to cover my property taxes, which is almost $2,500, $2,490 and some change. I mean, literally scratching at $2,500. So we leave the account from getting the taxes done with a fine of $1,200 and go up to the auditor's office and pay those taxes. By the time it was all said and done, I had to take $8,000 off my credit card to cover the property taxes. But when I had put money into the bank this morning, oh, I transferred into the wrong account. <laughs> it's just been a mess. It's been a mess. It's been a mess all day so after i was done with the account in the two different banks i had to deal with then the auditor's office me and my husband went antiquing and then um, i just walked down a little bit to try to calm myself down so i have a little snippets of footage of that for you guys that'll be coming up next <laughs> and i am sorry it's so shaky and all over the place and i'm just rambling because I was so stressed. I felt like crying. Oh my God, guys. And then we go to Burger King for lunch and my husband had words with a kid who had parked not unneeded. He did not need it. He pulled into the handicap parking spot, him and his little Escalade and oh my goodness, hopped out of there. And yeah, my husband almost got into a fight with some kid over handicap parking place that the kid was using inappropriately. Oh my goodness. And then he called me a nasty name and that's when my husband really had got upset. <laughs> so I thought the police was going to be called y'all. I really did. Then the manager of the Burger King come out and was like, oh no, we were hoping your husband was going to beat that kid down. We didn't call the police. Not at all. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, guys, I am glad to be going to work. I am that stressed that I'm so glad to be going to work so it can take my mind off of this day. This day has been one thing after another. 
So anyway, I've had you guys on here long enough. I am so sorry. You guys have a wonderful day and I cannot wait until tomorrow, sit down Saturday so I can shout out some accomplishments and get just myself in a proper mindset. Alrighty guys, you have a great day and blessings. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh guys, I am out doing errands today, stressing myself out. <laughs> Property taxes are due and I've accidentally transferred money into the wrong account. So now I am walking from one bank to the other bank to get my money back <laughs> to get a cashier's check to go pay my property taxes, which is at the other end of town. Thank goodness, I live in a small town. All right, heading into the bank. Talk to you in shortly. All righty, just left the bank. Now walking down to the auditor's office to pay the property taxes. Got my convenience check. <laughs> There's my friend across the street. <laughs> Instead of sh not shutting that off, I just realized I should have introduced y'all. Anyway, we have a beautiful downtown here in Cambridge. <laughs> Make y'all dizzy. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see some of our beautiful businesses that we have here. Alrighty, all done with property taxes. I hate giving up that much money, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but... We're gonna go in here because my husband's in the antique store and this is one of my favorite antique stores, uh, Penny Court, and it is three floors of antiques in here. Fantastic, it is fantastic. So anyway, I'm gonna turn it all around so you can see what's inside. chocolates they have the best chocolates in this little store it's always cutesy and I try not to even go in so I'm not stepping in because of the smell but oh yeah <laughs> very nice <laughs> alrighty guys I have had a great flip side Friday <laughs> as much as you can when you're getting your taxes done and then paying property taxes and transferred money into the wrong bank and then forgot your checkbook and <laughs> yeah but I am getting ready to head for work so you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday alrighty blessings <laughs>